Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So I'm going to do a little video um, now looking at uh, the Ronin wallet. So Ronin wallet is the wallet you need uh, to interact with Axie Infinity land. So Ronin is their own uh, blockchain, effectively they're what they call a sidechain. Um, so it works with Ethereum, but it is a separate blockchain. Um, so you can't use uh, MetaMask uh, to interact on the Ronin blockchain. It's the same, obviously you can't use MetaMask uh, to interact with Tron or or anything else, or you can use it for some things. But uh, in this case, <laughs> this is this is kind of kind of a separate blockchain. So um, if we want to interact with land in Axie Infinity, um, we need to uh, uh, have a Ronin wallet. So um, we need to add it to Chrome. So I'm in the Chrome uh, web store. So I'm gonna need to add it to Chrome. Um, and obviously we have to go through a formal setting, you know, do, do they, um, you know, are you sure, you, do you trust this? So obviously make sure you've got the Ronin wallet by Axie Infinity, not anything else. Um, 7,000 users, 72 uh, four, five star rating. So add the extension. So um, I guess most of us are using uh, MetaMask. So this is designed to work with MetaMask. So with some, because it's, if you were using two Ethereum wallets, so when I used to use the Dapper wallet and the Ethereum and the, and the MetaMask wallet, you had to toggle between the two, switch them off and on. You can have both on at the same time. With Ronin, you can have it on at the same time as you're logged into MetaMask. So there we go, we are uh, added to Chrome. So let's go and have a look and see how that works. Right, so I've got my little R up there. Um, looks like a bit of a tooth or something. So here is the Ronin wallet. Um, so I could import an existing wallet. Um, so there is actually here, I'm looking uh, on this uh, up here. Um, this is how to buy land um, uh, kind of tutorial. So we've downloaded the Ronin wallet. So create you can create a fresh Ronin wallet address or use your existing Ethereum wallet address. Um, please note that using a fresh address is the most secure path. So, so we could use an existing wallet address. I, yeah, as I say, I would recommend you just create a brand new wallet. Um, uh, so we're going to go, going to go up here. So obviously, obviously, this is going to show my seed phrase. Um, so obviously, I'm not going to use this, <laughs> um, uh, or maybe I won't even show the seed phrase. So let's uh, let's see how it goes. Right. So first, I need to enter um, a password. Um, so this is, I imagine, going to be the same sort of flow as um, you would see with um, with MetaMask. I will. I mean, it doesn't really matter. So um, this is. I'm going to delete this wallet. So so um, just uh, this is just for the purposes of the uh, of the tutorial. So hopefully you got the same password. Okay. So remember when we when we're creating wallets, um, the seed phrase is 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 the um, kind of the, the the human readable bit of what we call the private key. The private key is is a whole load of um, letters and numbers. Um, normally uh, sixty four of them um, depends on the blockchain. Um, but this this is an easy way. You could write down the entire private key uh, but this is an easy way of kind of encapsulating that so it's why we have um, these these uh, these kind of seed phrases and if anyone if I'm gonna I'm gonna show you my seed phrase now but if I had any value in this wallet you could just put you could just recreate my wallet by putting in the seed phrase so you could li literally why it says do, do not share this with anyone if you share your seed phrase with anyone then anyone can nick everything in your wallet so so th this is you know um, you can't kind of stress this um, uh, any more than that <laughs> this is the most basic bit of kind of blockchain um, uh, kind of security. You never show this. You would never do a video of this uh, and show the seed phrase with anything you're going to put any value in. Um, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to delete this wallet straight away. So that's why I can show you. Okay, so so this is my um, seed phrase. Um, I'm probably I'm going to have to write it down even though I'm not going to use it because I probably will need to confirm it um, next on the next um, on the next screen. So obviously this seed phrase is so oh, it's clicked off. It's so important that um, that when you're creating a wallet, um, you have to um, the the kind of the the UX is is they have to check that the user has actually written down the seed phrase <laughs> correctly. Because if you don't know the seed phrase um, and, uh, and you change computers or anything like that, um, you can't recreate your your wallet and then um, the kind of downside of of this is then no, no one can access any any tokens you've got in in your in your wallet. So um, next, so 
Okay, so now we have to click on the, uh, this is again very, very standard, so I need to just put these, so these are these are the 12 words I've got, I just need to kind of recreate that C phrase so um, they uh, can be sure that I have kind of written it down. Obviously, once you've written it down somewhere, you have to store it properly. So there's lots of different ways of people, you know, how they're gonna store things. To me, it depends on how much value um, I'm gonna put in the wallet. Now, you can't always tell that at the start, um, but if you, if you know, you know, for something like this, this is the Ronin wallet for Axie Infinity, and the basic use it has is for land. So land in Axie Infinity, um, you know, is something that's going to be valuable. It's already valuable. Um, so uh, this isn't like a kind of a, like a burner wallet you're going to use um, or uh, for some tokens or like a, a wallet you're going to create on a new blockchain that is a bit sort of risky and you're going to put ten dollars of value into it or something like that. You know, th this is this is I would suggest unless you're just messing around with this. Um, that if you know you're going to buy some land or you're interested in buying land that's going to cost hundreds of dollars and could and could go up in value, um, you know you want to be careful where you write this down um, and, and obviously store it. So some people get a, probably a bit carried away, but they, they you know you think about kind of kind of a, you know, putting you know, putting it in paper that uh, and then putting it in a burn proof bag or putting it in a safe or or some people have would store it in multiple locations. You could put it in a bank box. Um, you know, lots of ways of doing it, but don't yeah be careful. Don't just leave it in your back pocket um, or where your dog's going to eat it. Okay, so complete. So all set. Um, so we have now completed uh, that. And now if we uh, log up here, that is basically it. It's always, always a bit of a, um, it's always a bit of a discouragement once you create a wallet because nothing happens. So basically we can see this is the wallet address here. It looks like an Ethereum address. Um, there is a ROM is the token. Um, so we don't have any ROM. Obviously we've just created a wallet. Um, and we have no activity, so we have nothing, nothing in there at all. Um, we can reveal the seed, which is which is that term we just wrote down. We could reveal the private key, so you can just have a look at that. Um, I've got to retell my password, which I probably can't remember what it is. Um, let's see if I can remember. Click it. Oh, let's do that. Try that again. So this is what private key looks like. So so that that twelve word. Um, phrase is basically uh, is basically forming this this long phrase. You could write down that long phrase if you wanted to. It's the same thing. Um, as I say, you never show that to anyone either. You never show anyone your your phrase. You never show anyone your private key. Um, so 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 there we go. Um, so now what you would do with this? Um, I'm not going to do it do it this because this is a sort of a burner account. But then when we log into Axie Infinity, um, the interface to that, uh, and probably you've got your Ethereum wallet attached to that, connected to that wallet, an email address and a password. Um, and now you can also you basically um, log in um, log in to the Axie Infinity interface, the Axie Infinity website, also with your um, with your Ronin wallet, and then you can connect that together, um, uh, and and then you can start doing things like looking at the marketplace. Um, so I'll I'll, um, I'll set up another wallet uh, and attach it to my uh, to my uh, Axie Infinity. Um, account and then and then I can do further videos looking at the land, which I think is going to be an interesting, um, obviously a, a, a vital component really for the long term value of Axie Infinity. But that's just a little video. How to set up a Ronin network? Clearly, um, I'll say it before. Don't don't let anyone know your your seed phrase. Write it down. Look after it, um, and uh, and you'll be good to go. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. This is Blockchain Gaming World. Uh, spending our time playing blockchain games and doing videos about them. Please subscribe if you find it useful. But thanks for watching and see you again soon.